Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be my Christmas 2023 marathon. This is where I take all of my seasonal decorating videos and putting them all together to make a single more than one hour long marathon. In this marathon I'm taking all my main floor Christmas decorations so you can enjoy all in one video in your TV or phone or any device you prefer while getting some cozy and relaxing Christmas vibes or finding that decor inspiration. I really hope that you enjoy this Christmas marathon and you all let me know your thoughts or let me know in the comments if you are watching this marathon while decorating along with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you are ready, like this video and thank you so much for being here and let's decorate. Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Carla Lisa here and in today's video we're going to be decorating for Christmas and I got so many ideas and things to share with you. I also got many new things that I just can't wait to show you and we're going to be finding the perfect spot for each one of them. I also wanted to keep my home very cozy and warm so you know me, I love keeping things very rustic but also keeping that traditional and festive color and sense of the Christmas time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are new, please consider subscribe. I would love to have you here in my YouTube family. Like this video if you do and let's get decorated. And here's my kitchen completely empty and now it's kind of our blank slate that I'm starting with after I took down all of my fall decoration. And let's move on to this right corner of the kitchen and First, I'm placing this wooden tray I found at Home Goods. I love adding wood in pieces that create contrast against the white countertops. And for the next piece, I found this arrangement at Marshall and I ordered it online. It's the dupe of the Minka pot from Anthropology, coming along with these pine stems. Originally coming in white, but I did it painted in a neutral warmer tone to match better my style and not blending with the white backsplash. I also found this wood shoot candle and it's a perfect rustic toe shot for this corner. I also add in a bow to turn it in a more festive and Christmassy piece of decor. I'm also adding this kind of antique brass gold belt that I got at Hobby Lobby and it's coming with that um, youth rope that I'm also replacing for this chiffon ribbon that I got from Amazon and by the way all the things that can be linked it's going to be linked in my description box below. And I don't know if that was too much but I really like the look of those bells wearing that long ribbon. Also adding the same chiffon ribbon to my utensil canister that will make this corner more festive and standing out. On the other side, I'm first replacing the oil bottles for those glass one and I'm also replacing the potters for those gold one I got from Amazon to bring that golden fancy toe shape to that corner. And this is a glazed frosty tree that I got at Home Goods by Balsam and Firm and goes perfect at this corner. I love the stone finish of the pot that is bringing that organic and outdoors in and to this corner. 
I love those items made with organic elements that bring that outdoors and organic feeling inside so that I'm adding this marble mortar and pestle and then just adding a simple greenery touch. And moving on to the center of the stuff, I'm adding this rustic cutting board to create contrast and, and then this beautiful pine tree made of marble with those wood touches. So, so pretty and perfect for my decorating style. I just wanted to show you both ways I style them, but let me know which one would be the best looking for you. And I'm adding this small wreath to the cabinets and I wanted to show you how I style them. I just did remove a bell from this set I got at Hobby Lobby and did attach them to the back of the wreath. Then I just tied a bow using the same burgundy chiffon ribbon. I did order this large set of wreath from Marshall and it was exactly what I was looking for. I got it for $24.99, really affordable for the fullness and the realistic looking. So I just wanted to keep it warmer, soft and neutral and so that I did remove the bright red berries and then adding a more subtle pop of color with this burgundy pom pom bushes I got at Hobby Lobby. I definitely will be linking this wreath uh, from Marshall in my description box and all the things that I got from Marshall and all I can link in my description box. And then I'm adding this set of three hanging bells that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just bringing the rope at the back of the wreath holding it under the wire. Very simple, very easy. And moving to the coffee station bar area, I wanted to make this area a bit more festive and fun, but keeping the warmth and rustic organic feeling. I also want for my kids to enjoy this season by adding more colors and Christmas treats that they can grab here and enjoy. The wooden tray is for Marshall and if you watch my Hobby Lobby Christmas shop with me video, then you know that wooden tree is from there. I can imagine a hot cocoa for the kids or me and adding some mini marshmallows so having a canister for them and then putting cinnamon sticks in the other one we love adding cinnamon to our coffee every day those small glass canisters with red lids are from target dollar spot that I got the last year for my Christmas decoration Into this large canister, I wanted to add gingerbread man cookies my kids will love and I also found at Hobby Lobby. I'm placing and keeping the first layer more organized for visual interest but then just putting the rest in. I 
I ordered this wood mac holder from Amazon to hang up those Christmas mugs. I love the marble rounded base it's coming with. To bring the outdoor in feeling, I'm hanging this set of napkin rings I got at Target and also add a bit of greenery at this base. Those adorable small mugs are also from Target and they are also a fun and festive way to decor this coffee counter area. Moving to the other side, this year I really wanted to add a garland onto this window. It's a large space that is deep enough to add some decor. So first I'm hanging up the garland and I'm using a command hook on top to hold it. This garland is by Balsam and Fur and I got it at Marshall. It looks very realistic and I love the coloring on them. How they have that almost turquoise bluish undertone to them and think it's feeling so organic and natural. At the bottom space I would like to add something simple and more casual so I wanted to bring those small ceramic houses with lighting I ordered from Target and uh, making a kind of small simple village in this space. I'd like to give this area more clear without covering the window since I have a beautiful view to the lake in the woods so something small like those houses are a perfect fit for that window. And to the next side, I'm keeping very simple at this area and just filling this wooden bowl tray with real apples and some greenery to keep the organic Christmassy look. And now it's time to move on over the peninsula and add some decor and this is kind of the focal point of my kitchen so I always like to have a statement piece that I love adding a brass gold tray and this large face that I got at Target and I DIY to create that beautiful stone texture and I'll be sharing how I did it in one of my future DIY videos but what when it comes to winter decor I found this beautiful baby pine cone stems at Hobby Lobby and I love the woodsy warm and rustic feel that they bring to my decor they look like i just grabbed them right from the woods and adding them to my table they perfectly fit my rustic home style <laughs> I'm also adding this scented Christmas candle from Hobby Lobby and I really like the deep red color that matches perfectly well my decor. And for the third element on this tray, I'm going to be adding a simple small wooden bowl that comes in a set of three that I got at Marshall and keeping it very simple, just adding some little bells for visual interest and a bit of greenery.
and I got this kitchen towel at Hobby Lobby and I love the simplicity of this one, the right amount of red and the right amount of warm colors. Now I decided to move on over the dining space and create a beautiful tablescape or Christmas setting for our dining table. So I'm starting by adding the sheer cloth runner in a creamy white I got from Amazon. I love how affordable sheer cloth is for any table arrangement and the organic and casual look that it brings to the table. So next I just layered on the simple ceramic face that I got at Hobby Lobby and I really wanted to make a pretty statement arrangement this year on my dining table. So I'm adding some of this long flowy greenery Norfolk pine stems that I got at Kirkland and I got several of them but I'm just using three of them enough to fully fill this meat face bending a little bit to create that cascade look and I wanted to keep a low height arrangement on this table but it's still interesting as a focal point just in case we have a larger amount of guests over I'll be switching to other place and then I would love to add that layer of that burgundy accent so I just use these stems with small four velvet berries and matching perfectly well with my Christmas color skin but if you have a vase layer full of greenery you just need a few of them to add that subtle pop of color and I just love the way this arrangement turned out And another thing that I love incorporating into my decor are hate with gold candlesticks holders. And I found this set on Amazon and I didn't expect that so high-end look. They also look more modern fancy style, which is not that much my style, but they really look so beautiful and expensive that I ended up keeping them. And those burgundy candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby and they are the exactly match for the four berries I'm using to pop up on the Norfolk stems. And I'm adding a set of neat placemats that I got at Target by Trashall in a beige neutral color that also helped to create contrast. And it's time to layer the plate setting and I'm using these fox wood chargers I got at Hobby Lobby because I just simply love the warmth that they add and the timeless of the wood look. And then to go on top of those I got this really pretty speckled stoneware ceramic plates from Target and I'll be using them for every single tablescape that I do because they perfectly fit my rustic and charming and organic style and they still go with everything everything and now when it comes to napkin I wanted to show you a very easy and simple but creative way to style them first I'm just folding in half like making a triangle then folding in half again to reach up to the center I'm using the chocolate brown velvet ribbon to tie the center of the napkin but you can tie with whatever you prefer or the color you like most And then just adding that burgundy accent with the same little berry bush we popped up on the greenery. Then doing the same for the rest of the plates and meanwhile as you notice we have been working on our living room built-in project at the fireplace so you will see a different living room scenery the next time so I hope we have at least the first part of that built-in project and the cabinets done for my Christmas living room decor. These wooden salt and pepper shakers are from Target and I just thought that they were going to fit perfectly well my table setting. And 
I also wanted to add a festive holiday toast to the back of each dining chair by just setting this cute little wreath using the same burgundy chiffon ribbon. And the last thing I wanted to do to complete the dining area look, I'm coming over the hutch and doing something quick and simple here. First, I'm adding this long bowl and I'm just filling it with greenery that I just took off of the stem speaks I got at Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to reuse this glazed sugary apples to fill the bowl. I also used them for my fall decoration and I told you that they were going to be also perfect for the Christmas decoration. I'm adding these ceramic houses I got at Walmart with the flameless candles inside. I got this wooden tree at Walmart and I love the chocolate brown color of this tree and the brass gold combination. I'm also adding a mini bowl with some pine cones and, and to make more contrast at the bottom uh, and making it feel more hummy, I'm adding that mini cutting board that I got at Target. And that was pretty much it for my Christmas decoration in the kitchen and the dining area. And I just wanted to take you along through a quick tour through the kitchen and the dining area so you can appreciate closer all the decoration we did in this video. I love how all the greenery additions help to give off that rustic and woodsy look and how we incorporate that pops of the burgundy color which I just love and feel like it is a very sophisticated and timeless and classic color with simple budget friendly and casual decor that make both rooms flow and come harmoniously together without competing each other both rooms have their own focal points and unique Christmas touches.
and this is the end result for our tablescape or our dining table setting for the Christmas. I definitely love the statement piece at the center with that beautiful stems and all the burgundy touches. Thank you so much for watching this video and decorating along with me for Christmas and that's it for today's Christmas decor. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got so much inspiration and ideas for your Christmas decor and see you in my next video. Bye! You and me in the cold thought it never be true wherever I go Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Carla Lisa here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my living room Christmas decorate with me and I'm also so excited because I'm sharing with you the new look of our living room. We have been working in our built-in project at the fireplace area, building and installing the base costume cabinetry and little by little we are going to be finishing the entire built-in project but it's looking so much much better so far and I cannot be happier and wait to start decorating here for Christmas I'm also going to be putting up my Christmas tree but not decorating it quite yet just because I'm doing my own ornaments DIY something that I'm going to be sharing with you later and um, so we have a lot to do in this video a lot of decoration and inspiration for this Christmas time so I hope that you enjoy this video if you are new please consider subscribe I would love to have you here in my YouTube family like this video if you do and let's decorate and this is a sneak peek of some of the items we're gonna be using here to decorate the living room I'm gonna be sharing you and telling you more details throughout the video and leaving all the links in my description box I also have the Christmas tree ready just behind to complete our Christmas decoration and this is our blank, neutral and new empty living room slate and space that we are going to be starting with after I cleaned up all my fold decor. For this year's inspiration, I wanted to keep my home cozy, organic and bring in that classic and nostalgic Christmas feeling with my favorite rustic toe shop and yet traditional and warmer and more earthy colors to keep the calmness and cozy feeling. The first area where I wanted to start was our fireplace since it is the first focal point of our entire room. I'm using these command hook strips and attached onto the mantle. And for my mantle this year, I wanted to try those real Tosh Norfolk pine garlands that I got at Kirkland and I love the lifelike feel and movement of them. I purchased just two of them this year, but honestly, to fill a good amount of space, definitely two aren't enough to fill the lung of my mantle but fortunately I bought several Norfolk pine stems and definitely I will need to use them in order to make them look fuller and way better To implement a little bit of designer style and look, I'm doing an asymmetrical mantle scape and honestly because I just have two of them, I will be the best way to style this garland. So this way is just draped off to one side of the fireplace as you are seeing now and I also wanted for this garland a cascade look so I'm intentionally facing them down. This asymmetrical look also will help to arch and create a cushion of contrast where I'm hanging the stockings which will be very pleasing to the eye. And this is the moment when I'm adding the rest of Norfolk pine stems in order to fill the rest of the lung of my mantle. I used the total of more four Norfolk pine stems and as you can see I barely could reach up to the other corner. Mm -hmm. 
I'm also using this pretty and realistic set of stems I got at Target and I'm incorporating three of them on top of the Norfolk garland to fill some gaps and create a nice fuller look but also to add more texture to our mental scape. Since the Norfolk pines are very flat and you don't have enough of them like me so I'm confirming that Norfolk and Cedar stems goes pretty well. I'm using my favorite burgundy pom pom bush stems to add a subtle pop of color to my mantle. And this is the end result styling our Norfolk Pine garlands, but I'm now heading to add the rest of details and decor. To add that classic gold style look, I'm adding these beautiful candlesticks holders I got at Marshall. They feature a warm gold tone which is perfect for my decor. I'm inserting the same burgundy candlesticks I used for my tablescape and I got them at Hobby Lobby. Then I'm adding the same touch of gold at the other side with this adorable nutcracker I got at Home Goods and reminds me one of those in the designer websites very similar to this but I love that warm gold tone of this one that is looking very similar to the candlesticks. Next, it's time to hang the stockings and I used these weighted hangers that I got at Target and I just slipped them under the garland and hang my stockings on them. And I opted for using these charming stockings I got at Target by the Hearth and Hand collection, one in a coffee brown color and the other one in a green one. I also found a hand knit chunky one stocking at Marshall and I absolutely love the soft and cozy feel of texture layer that they are bringing to this corner to the mantle. I'm hanging this set of rustic bells I got from Amazon and they are such a beautiful rustic addition to my mantle. I definitely love them so so much. To bring the festive and charming look, I'm adding fairy lights. This is something that makes such a difference to the garland. I got these lights at Walmart. They are just for $6. Three settings, very easy to use and maneuver. I'll try to find them at the Walmart website and link them in my description box.
To complete the look, I'm adding this beaded and bells garland I also got at Kirkland. I'm using one of the same weighted hooks that I got at Target in order to hang the garland on the other side. And this is the complete end result in looking of our mental scape using the Norfolk garlands, the stockings, the bells, and all the golden details. But now that we have the mental area finished, I wanted to move over the right cabinet and as you can see, it's very white right now. So I'm first adding this beautiful face in a soft warm cream color I got at Target and I'm putting in the larger setter stems I got from Target as well and I'm arranging a little bit and bending a bit just to recreate a natural falling look. To pair with the face, I'm doing something that I really love adding this year and I'm using this beautiful vintage Christmas wintery pictures from Etsy. With these pictures, I wanted to bring that nostalgic feeling and look to my space. I did print all the pictures larger than I actually needed and so that I'm folding this one to make it fit in the 8x10 frame. The pictures are so beautiful that I thought would be better just leaving them as a comeback kind of art and removing the glass from the frame to appreciate it way better. I definitely love the simple look without the glass and the warm and nostalgic feeling that this picture is bringing to the space. This picture will also help to hide the fireplace switch at the side of the wall. Next, I'm adding this book in order to raise and create a bit of hate. And on top of it, I'm adding this classic Christmas candle from Hobby Lobby. The texture on the glass canister is so pretty and it's bringing me that vintage like a feeling. Color, it's also beautifully matching with the Norfolk garlands on the fireplace, which it's bringing me that organic feeling. I wanted to add this nativity handcrafted figure here this has a very sentimental mean to me this nativity was a gift from a family member she my aunt sent it to me last christmas and instead of buying a new larger one i definitely wanted to use this special one and making it part as a nostalgic piece at the other corner i'm adding this deers or reindeers that i got at big lots and are the dupes of the very popular pottery barn ones to finish this area, I just wanted to add a subtle pop of color using the same burgundy pom pom bushes I added at the mantle, and that way I'm creating a kind of extension of the mantle and I can match to the garlands and keeping the same pattern.
now let's move on to the left cabinet inside of the fireplace here i also wanted to add one of the vintage pictures i got from etsy this is a beautiful snowy village the red pop of colors make this picture looks more christmasy so i'm adding this the same way as the previous one and i'm removing the glass from the frame I'm also going to be linking these pictures I found on Etsy for digital downloads in my description box. In front of the picture, I'm placing this stunning marble bowl I got at Home Goods. I'm doing a kind of greenery cushion with some stems and then adding a stem pick and bringing that organic rustic look to this side. The brown of the pine cones are adding that outdoors in a nature warm of touch and I found this cascade jingle bells in an antique brass gold finish which is adding that metal rustic toe shape to this bowl. Next, I'm standing this gorgeous tall reindeer in a brass gold, pretty similar to one I saw at Jaws and main website and I got this similar look for half the price at TA Maxx. Next, I'm adding this small vase with handles that I did DIY and did turn in a stone texture. This side is gonna be less visible, so I'm just keeping things very simple at this point, but I just still wanted to add something to fill this gap and keep it as the same as the other side of the fireplace. Since my Christmas tree is gonna be here at the side of the living room, I'm placing the reindeer at the middle, which is gonna be more visible, being taller I'm going ahead to style at the bottom and floor of the fireplace area and I wanted to add something that would help to bring the outdoors in and make the fireplace feel like a rustic cabin. So I started with this medium sized ceramic pot and then I just stuffed in with some plastic bags and wrapping paper I had on hand just to create a cushion that helps to raise the other styling pieces we're adding inside since i wanted this arrangement looks taller and visible so i just added this birch locks i got at walmart and even when they are short you can see how the bags and paper inside helps give these pieces a bit of larger scale to bring that woodsy organic look i just picked up at hobby lobby these winter stems and perfectly recreate my vision for this corner there's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss 
A green red delight With glimmering silver wine You dazzle us all From big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presence stacked in piles At the other corner, I wanted to add something tall, so I did pick this lantern. Uh, it's also perfect for a outdoor decoration. I'm adding a small wreath also from Hobby Lobby, and I already had this one from the last year. This is kind of a frosty wreath, and I think it's going to bring that wintry feeling to the corner. adding this burgundy flameless candle that's made of real wax and will bring a charming cozy look to this corner it's bringing along with a remote control which is going to be way easier to turn on and off we give thanks for this past year oh nothing compares to the love that then I decided to add this beautiful woven kind of Christmas gift I got at Ross the last year and I love the warm dark brown woven details and also it's adding a pop of color with the deep red ribbon. Then moving over the larger couch, I'm styling with some throw pillows. Since my couches are dark brown, I'm of course adding lighter neutral colors. So then I wanted to add this soft beige throw pillows I picked up at Target with a good amount of texture and will help to create a cushion of contrast to the red throw pillows I'm adding and I already had and also did use the last year to add also bring a pop of color to this area and the center i'm tossing this cream throw blanket i already had and it's a way to bring more light but still coziness and this kind of cozy look and i love the subtle texture that it adds to the couch I also wanted to add this wintry throw pillow I got at Marshall featuring the Christmas pines and snowflakes. I love the neutral colors and the warm beige also bringing a layer of coziness but yet festive. It's time to put up our Christmas tree. We bought this Christmas tree last year at Home Depot. It's a Kingwood Fraser Fir by Home Decorators. And I'm also going to be leaving the link in my description box. This tree came in three sections and it's also pre-lit so I was able to quickly put the whole thing together by myself. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Thy leaves are so unchanged And then for the bottom side of this tree I added this woven tree color I've been wanting for long I got this one at Walmart It's really beautiful And I just wanted something that brings that artisan and organic piece to this tree And wow, I absolutely love the artisan rustic look this woven piece just added I just took off my sweater to not get in it more flocked and start fluffing the majority of the branches which took me a while. Oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Brings to us such joy and glee Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Such pleasure do you 
and this is the end result of our living room area Christmas decoration so I wanted to bring you to see a wider view of this living space to appreciate all the decor I definitely love how cozy warmth and organic this area is feeling not too saturated not too little the right amount of decor and puff of red and burgundy color and the warmth of the brass rustic gold details the natural elements and the rustic toe shops as usual in my decor and the nostalgic details make this area feel so homey and welcoming Past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a place and that's it for today's video i hope that you got so much inspiration and ideas for your holidays christmas and winter decor please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and like this video if you did enjoy and see you in my next video bye my presence stacked in Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Carlisa here and I'm so excited to bring you a new Christmas decorate with me video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm decorating my entryway area and also adding some decor to my front porch area in order to make them look more festive for this Christmas time but also welcoming, cozy and inviting. I also needed to improvise some details and ways to bring all my Christmas decor together but with that also bringing you some ideas if you missed my previous Christmas decorating video I did my entire kitchen my dining table and also my living area for all of that I wanted to keep things very rustic a classic timeless with some subtle pops of colors but keeping the warmth and coziness throughout my home so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you are new please consider subscribing I would love to have you here in my YouTube family like this video if you do and let's decorate and I decided to start by the entryway because I got so many things to do here that I really wanted to show you and then we are heading to the front porch area and here I'm showing you our blank slate in completely empty spaces where we are gonna be decorating on And the first thing I wanted to do is adding some Christmas related pictures to an empty wall in our entryway and I'm gonna be adding this adorable vintage rustic style Santa Claus reading the letters and I got all these pictures from Etsy and I'm loving the Santa pictures it's my favorite one and it's gonna be perfect for that empty wall since I wanted this picture highlight from the others, I'm placing the picture in the white picture frame. But I wanted to the other pictures being smaller than the Sana one, so I needed to adjust them by cutting out the frame size. The other two pictures are also related to the winter, so I thought they would be also perfect to keep them all the season long. And as I mentioned before, I got all this Christmas and winter pictures from Etsy and I'm going to be linking the page in my description box you just download the files and then you can print them as you prefer my husband did print them for me at Walmart and they came out really well you can find so many options of these pictures of vintage picture Christmas winter pictures from Etsy they are really affordable and a great and very affordable option to decorate your spaces and I'm moving now at the opposite side to decorate this space I wanted to decorate here using this cube organizer that it used to be at my living room but I'm gonna be moving upstairs but I left it here and use it to simulate an entryway console table and taking advantage for a Christmas entryway decor idea 
and the first thing i wanted to add is a, that beautiful vase that i did diy creating that beautiful stone finish and then i'm adding the setter stems i got at target they are beautiful and very realistic and some of the other stems that i got at hobby lobby I'm also adding this pine and baby pine comb stem. I absolutely love. They are my favorite and they are adding a rustic look to this arrangement. And I wanted this arrangement as a statement piece, large and pompous, being at the entryway. And then I'm coming with this beautiful wintry picture showing a deer in the snowy forest with sugar pines. The picture is bringing all the winter vibes to this space. And then I'm placing this coffee table book to elevate the next pieces. So that on top of it, I'm adding this set of bells. They come in a set of three, but I'm just adding the medium and the small one to not oversaturate the small area. The large one is really large and I thought it was going to be too much. I got those beautiful Tibetan spire bells from Amazon and this mini tray is from a set of three small trays I got at Marshall. Keeping it simple, just adding one pine cone. I'm adding this razor tray by the Heart and Hand collection with Magnolia at Target to add some height and matching with the book. And on top of the razor tray, I'm adding this scented candle I got the last year, but I barely used it. I really love the deep green and gold combination. Right in front of it, I'm placing this handful of cinnamon sticks just for visual interest and also to bring more natural warmth elements to this decor. I'm tying that chiffon ribbon just to add that festive and Christmas pop of color. The other area of this entryway are the stairs railing. First, I'm adding this set of rustic bells I got at Walmart and I love the dark details and the warmer brass gold that make them look older. And I'm using this youth core to tie and attach the bells to the pole, but I'm coming back to the bells in a minute. I'm going ahead to add the garlands to the stairs railing and I got this pine and pine combs garland at Marshall and I'm loving them so much. They have a beautiful nuance of greens and the dark brown of the pine combs matches beautifully with the dark brown of my stairs railing. And now coming back to the pole and the bells, I wanted to dress up this area by making a bow. I'm tying an extra ribbon piece to reinforce the bells and cover better the jute cord. I'm using the same type of ribbon but a bit wider to make a bow. I also wanted to do the same for the rest of the stairs railing. I thought three bows would be enough to create a more Christmassy and festive look. For the finishing toe shop, I'm adding some faded strings light I got at Walmart and this obviously will take this area to a festive and cozy ambience by giving that crinkling, whimsical look. Unfortunately, at this point, I ran out of faded strings light to include the pole where the bells are, but I'm adding them later as soon as I get more. 
and then at this corner one of our larger statement pieces in this space is this fox fiddle leaf tree i was thinking on finding a skinny christmas tree for this space that it's by our front window but that wouldn't be on my budget this year so instead of buying a new tree i opted better dressing up this tree and turning it out more festive and christmasy by adding fairy string lights so being a large tree i ended up adding a total of two twinkling string lights Next to the tree, I wanted to add one more thing to this area. I got this woven basket at Walmart and I knew it would be perfect to fill this space. Then to fill the basket, I'm adding these three natural birch logs I also got at Walmart and they will bring that rustic, organic and woody look to this corner. Then I'm just adding this throw blanket for a more cozy and cohesive look and then a greenery stems from Hobby Lobby. But for the finishing toe shop, I wanted to add a bow by using this beautiful burgundy velvet ribbon and this will bring the Christmassy finishing touch. And this is the end result, but before going ahead to the front porch area, I just wanted to show you a wider view and a close up of all we did here, so that I'm taking you through a quick tour at the entryway for you to see how everything turned out, all the details and I cannot wait to show you the results of all we did here. it's time to dress up our front porch area a little bit but first i'm showing you how this area was looking so empty and simple 
First, I'm adding the spine needle wreath with bells. I got a target and I love the Tibetan inspired bells on it and the noise of the bells each time we open the door. And the white berries that highlight against my brown front door. For my entryway, I wanted more festive colors for this Christmas season, so I'm laying this layering rack I found at Walmart to match and also to help the next area rack appear bigger. I found this adorable Christmas mat with the track and the Christmas tree at Walmart and I just fell in love. I'm gonna be linking this in my description box. For the bench that is at my front porch area, I decided to dress it up a little bit and turn it festive so I did pick those pine stems I got a target to create a kind of swag so that I'm using that red velvet ribbon to uh, tie and attach both stems and then making a bow. I did a head and stick a command hook to grab the swag right at the middle. I made the bow with the same red velvet ribbon and I'm using a hair clip at the other side to attach this bow to the tight ribbon. I'm adding this throw pillows I already had to make this area feel more welcoming and cozy. I picked up this pine tree at Hobby Lobby and it's so pretty. It's not only for the Christmas, it's also perfect to keep it all the winter season long. It's a very realistic looking as I'm showing you now. A lot of movement, really beautiful and by adding the discount I got it for just $20. And then I did grab this distressed black vase pot with a 50% off unfortunately and the three fitted perfect in. So now I'm adding some wrapping paper into this vase slash pot to make the tree appear taller. I think putting the tree in a pot will help to make it look more natural. But another thing that will help to make this tree look way more natural is by adding moss covering the top and making it look like a real planted tree. My husband just got home and got this real point sedia and the red color on it it's beautiful and match really nice with the Christmas mat at the front door. And the finishing touch is adding this lantern I picked up in Hobby Lobby and I'm adding this little woven wrapped gift box with lights that will be adding that glowing Christmassy effect at night. And this is the end result for our front porch decor. I'm doing a close up for you to appreciate all the decor we did here. And that was it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found so much inspiration and ideas for this Christmas time. I'm coming with more winter and Christmas content. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!
Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel and to my living room again. In today's video, we're gonna be finishing up our living room holiday decoration. We're gonna be starting by decorating the Christmas tree. I will be adding the popular velvet ornaments, the somber Gandhi stems and my own DIY ornaments I made this year. In my first Christmas living room decorating video, we were adding the Norfolk garlands and doing the mantle and decorating and putting up my Christmas tree. But also in this video, I'm going to be finishing up my mantle by adding some details to make it look fuller and more charming. I wanted to decorate a kind of vintage but still classic Christmas style look on my mantle. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and let's decorate. And to start off here, I'm showing you the red velvet ornaments I got at Michael's this year and my own DIY ornaments. It's my first year doing my own DIY ornaments for Christmas so I just made a few of them to try this year. I'm starting first by adding the red velvet ornaments. They are gorgeous and I think they will elevate the look to my tree, making it look so sophisticated. The deep red color on them looks so elegant and I still can keep that traditional and classic color of the Christmas. I ran out of the velvet ribbon so I picked up this thin leather ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby with gold sparkle details that also matches really well with the gold cap of the ornaments. Now it's time to add my DIY ornaments and I did paint all of them with acrylic paint mixing with a lot of baking soda to create texture and that rustic finish that I love and doing the paper towel spreading technique to achieve that kind of distressed plushing paint look. Then I made these brownie ones with a deep dark brown color finish, it's beautiful. They look like those high-end ornaments from the stores and I just did use the truffle color acrylic paint and mixing the perfect ingredient, a baking soda and that was it. Really easy and affordable. By the way, I got all the paint in Walmart. I also wanted to make some of them in that neutral color, they will add a bit of softness and neutral balance as the brown ones, I just did use a neutral sand color and baking soda and I love the end result of all of them, really easy to make and very affordable way to create that high end textures and elevate the look of your ornaments. And I will definitely do more of them the next year. I also wanted to add my favorite pom-pom stems I've been using in all my Christmas decorations. I love the very deep dark red color, almost burgundy. They have become my favorite pop of color stems to the core for Christmas. I'm also adding these four berry stems I also got at Hobby Lobby and I really like them. I also use them for my dining tablescape stem arrangement for my Christmas decor this year and I love the sweet and whimsical pop of color that adds to the arrangement so that I decided that I also wanted to these four berry stems on my tree. I 
I'm gonna be adding this velvet bow to the top. I honestly didn't find something that really caught my attention this year. So I'm adding something simple but still charming and the bow it would be also matching perfectly well with the velvet ornament. So plus point to the bow. This is the first stage and view of our Christmas tree with the ornaments and stems we just added. But I'm gonna be adding something else to finish it. But before we're gonna be moving to the mantle because I'm gonna be doing some additions and then we're going to be coming back to the Christmas tree. I've been not liking this gap right along under the TV so I got an idea to fill that space behind. So I picked up this awesome pine needle stems at Michael's and I love how rustic and realistic they look. I got a bunch of them and I immediately knew they would be the perfect filler rustic addition my mental needed and they are absolutely perfect to fill that space behind the garlands. Adding the last one at the corner to continue the needle pine pattern, the asymmetrical look and the cascade effect. Norfolk pine garlands are beautiful but if you have enough to fill a whole mantle or something else with more texture to add and helping to make them look fuller. But either way I love the cascade effect they add to my mantle making the entire look more natural and kind of organic. I picked up this Burgundy Amaryllis Floral Jumbo Ornament by my Texas House Collection and I just took off each stem one by one and then incorporating them to the garland. With this I wanted to create a kind of vintage charming cabin courage look. I'm absolutely in love with the end result of this mantle. It's describing my style and I love the contrast of the green and burgundy colors. So Christmassy and a bit of wild foresty look. And because I love the result on my mantle, I wanted to match the tree doing the same and incorporating the amaryllis one by one in the middle of some branches to fill that spaces like the flowers are growing off of the tree. Wake up with a smile, the feeling is right today. Magic in the air. Then I wanted to swap the fillers into this bowl. In my first living room decor I added some cascade bells but when I went to Michael's I found this beautiful sugary frosty berry bowl fillers and I thought it would be the perfect pop of colors on a bowl. Dinosaurs. 
I wanted to do the same in my kitchen island bar, so I'm removing the bells and filling the top of the wooden bowl with a bunch of them, dropping and leaving outside of the bowl one or two for a more casual look. And this is a wider view of my kitchen after switching those elements and I'm definitely loving the end result. I love how those sugary berries look and the pop of color they are adding to this area. And being already in the Christmas time, they would be the perfect addition to any counter decor. I'm finishing my living room by swapping this throw pillow by adding this adorable plushy ornament pillow I got at Hobby Lobby. And here's the final look to my living room, the Christmas tree already decorated, all the ornaments and after all the additions to my mental decor. And that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy and you found so much inspiration and ideas for your own Christmas decor. And I see you in my next video. Bye.